Back to the daily grind and y'all know we gotta talk about this, but before we do make sure you hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy cause you know what time it is, it's full time. MMA. And it looked like more combat sports shit sandwiches are on the menu as Fabricio Verdum has a meeting with the WWE on Thursday and has recently discussed, you know, his plans or the idea of fighting in the UFC and the WWE at the same damn time. I fight WWE. I fight Ronda. I fight Travis at the same damn time. I'm just saying there's so much shit that you can do in, in the WWE with some of these UFC fighters that actually would be entertaining but still cringy at the same time. Think about this. Fabricio Verdun versus... Bada boom, 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 boom. Colby Covington, another UFC fighter that already has smoke with Fabricio Verdum. And I'm sure Fabricio would love to put Colby Covington through a couple of tables. Maybe, you know, take a title from him in the WWE. <laughs> you guys see where this is going. All I'm saying is there's been a lot of UFC fighters lately that have been going to the WWE. There's been WWE fighters coming over to the UFC. CM Punk's about to fight at UFC 225. There's talks of Brock Lesnar coming back to MMA, Ronda Rousey's went to the WWE recently. I mean, there's all kind of fucking like cross promoting going on between the UFC and the WWE, and now it looks like the WWE has their eyes set on one of the greatest heavyweight fighters of all time in Fabricio Verdun. Recently, we also saw Cain Velasquez in the in the WWE, in you know cage side, you know with a luchador mask on. There's a lot of heavyweights interested in going to the WWE, and this is a little bit of what Fabricio Verdum had to say. I think that both the WWE and the UFC at the same time is doable. If I had the opportunity to fight, I'd fight there no problem. It's financially great. Fight at the WWE. A spectacle is fun to do. I'd definitely do it. I have a meeting Thursday about it. Doing both. I want to fight. Doesn't matter where. I'll have this meeting Thursday in San Diego and see if something happens with WWE. It's cool. A unique opportunity to do a few fights there as well. You've got to look at it. I mean, I, and props to Fabricio. Props to the fighters for getting these opportunities and getting that check because that's really what it's about the UFC doesn't you don't get paid as much in the UFC as you would in the WWE or boxing as we see with Conor McGregor so if one of these guys can you know fin finesse their way into a WWE match put a couple of guys through some tables it's scripted you don't got to worry about getting your fucking eyes punched out or you know your fucking neck choked or none, none of the crazy craziness that comes with a real MMA fight you don't have to worry about those injuries you know that can happen because a lot of it is scripted now you of course you can still be injured in the WWE of course you can and still and Fabricio Verdun went on to talk about that you still need skill to fight in the WWE and even if it's not necessarily fighting skill you've got to be able to act you've got to be able you got to be athletic to be able to make some of those jumps and shit that they do you know slam the you know it, there's a lot that actually does go into the WWE the part that turns a lot of people off is the fact that the results are scripted you know what I'm saying but I mean it's like if you if you think about it it's, it's kind of like a fucking book yeah, yeah, the book is written, but until you know the story, it's a good-ass book. So, that's what's going on. I mean, I've just unfortunately caught a couple of Ronda Rousey's appearances in the WWE, and I watched them. They were pretty entertaining. It's cool to see Ronda Rousey again, I gotta admit. And now, I mean, if I could see Fabricio Verdun versus Colby Covington and just, you know, hope while I'm watching it on the edge of my seat, Fabricio Verdun's about to fucking say fuck the WWE, break character, and Colby's gonna be in trouble. He should have never got this close to Fabricio. You know what I'm saying? It would just be crazy to see Fabricio versus Colby in the WWE because it's not realistic to see it in the UFC. And I'm not advocating, I'm just saying if Fabricio goes to the WWE, we know Colby Covington wants to go to the WWE. He's on the way. I have a feeling Colby Covington's going to be the first person. I don't even know if he's going to get the welterweight title, but he might be the first to hold a UFC and a WWE title unless Ronda Rousey beats him to it. Kobe still got to earn his UFC title, but you guys get the point. With that being said, it is what it is. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. And his name is John Cena! <laughs>
And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. Da 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 da! It's the motherfucking D O double G!